The Russia-Ukraine war has had multiple implications, some within the nation's boundaries and some beyond. The collapse of the Black Sea grain deal is one example. Another such implication looms over the Russia-Africa summit, as merely 17 African nations have confirmed their attendance. Kremlin claims that the summit is being undercut by Western powers as it seeks out diplomatic allies in its standoff over Ukraine. The spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov, said that this is absolutely blatant, brazen interference by the United States, France and other states through their diplomatic missions in African countries and their attempts to put pressure on the leadership of these countries in order to prevent their active participation in the forum. In an attempt to woo African nations and pull them in, an, in as allies, and also in a bid to reverse the effect of grain deal ending, Putin suggested a scheme to have Qatar pay to ship the grain to Turkey, where it could later be sent on to poorer African countries. However, both Qatar and Turkey are yet to agree to this. The halted grain deal in the backdrop of heaps of sanctions on Russia has led to Moscow into global isolation. The deal was devised to elevate soaring global food prices and Russia blamed its collapse on the West blocking Russian exports of grain and fertilizers. Russia's plans to quote the global south become critical as Kremlin claims that the country's future lies in Asia and Africa. However, the African nations are caught up in their own wars posed by Russia's exit on the Green Deal. Multiple African leaders believe that this can lead them into civil crisis as the grain prices continue to rise. Calling it a stab in the back for global food security prices that disproportionately impacts countries in the Horn of Africa already impacted by drought. Moscow says now that the grain deal is null and void. Its military could target grain infrastructure at Ukrainian port cities as it is. Putin's promises to increase trade with Africa to $40 billion a year have come up far short. Russia's economic influence in African countries is still dwarfed by other powers such as China and is being hampered by new Western sanctions. Analysts expected Moscow to announce bilateral grain offers in an effort to dilute the pressure on African leaders while also providing a market for Russia's stranded products.